If you are enjoying the story so far, and need more Dungeons & Dragons in your life, I invite you to check out another group called The Long Past Podcast. They are working their way through heroism and tragedy in the events of the Kragan War. Their name and link are in the description below. A steeple-roofed shrine stands above the elves on this subterranean mesa, 30 feet from ground to roof's edge. The courtyard about the shrine and the elves is grassy and covered with patches of vines and thorns and tumbled down walls. Warty, chaotic, totish entities have desecrated the shrine with rancid, porcine blood or porcine, not sure which and used its once hallowed walls for travesty and mutilation. Out of nowhere, a fiendish entity has torn through the walls of reality as a messenger speaking directly to Varen. Now let's get into it. Welcome back to the Land of the Hunter. The time is 10 in the morning on this 81st day of our campaign. The elves, noted Thea, are 630 feet deep in a pit surrounded by sulfurous mists and the sound of bubbling steam and the croaking howls of the aberrations they found desecrating this hidden shrine. Direct sunlight is now stinging into Dell's eyes setting off his sunlight sensitivity. For Dell, this means disadvantage on attack rolls, whether he, if he's in direct sunlight or if his targets are, uh, and also sight-based perception checks. While he still maintains concentration on keeping that bone-constructed monstrosity banished. The land above the pit is sand, dirt, and short, sharp spines of grass, low brush, cacti, with towering stone spires, deadly heat, and wandering predators. Thea, how is your audio? Can you all still hear me? Good for the okay. most part. Yeah, it's good for the most part, but then I get periods where it's breaking up, and I don't know if that's just me or others as well. I couldn't tell you. And at risk for your recording. Hmm. Well, we'll press, and if you have any uh, confusion or, or suffering in any distortion, just ask for a clarification or a repeat. Sounds good. Cool. Uh, Adrian, I'm currently having a slowdown on my player screen, so I can't... Oh, now I can move it. And I'm gone. Let's see. So, Del, you've successfully, for the, for the moment, banished that bone creature at the end of round three. If you keep concentration around until round 13, the bone creature will be banished from the fight permanently. Varen has cast... Concentrating, man. Say what? I said keep concentrating. Right. Varen has cast Hunter's Mark on that flying leather black cloak thing that is chasing you, Del. 
Um, da, 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 da. But not before that, and you did banish it, but not before it unfortunately battered poor crushes into the dirt. No. Poor crushes. Adrian, unaware of either the bone creature, its message, or what it's done to crutches, has dived through the window, only to be pursued by his very surprised human and that blue toad hulk thing. The green toadish entity and the grayish one, both of them have disappeared. However, the red toads have left the building. Thea, you have left your pursuers behind and you're briefly catching your breath near the top of the map. And do remember that, Adrian, you and you alone saw an enormous eyeball looking through the interior door in the shrine. So, let's get our initiative tracker up. Yeah, that's a little too many eyes for my taste. <laughs> I'm sorry, you just mentioned a note for Thea and I was... I didn't quite process what you said. Uh, you're base. You've left your pursuers behind, and you're near the top of the map, just trying to catch your breath. Going, okay. Start things around it. Bad idea. Things around it. Bad idea. Bad day. Bad day. Bad day. Bad day. Yeah. Bad day. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. And be the windows again. <laughs> <laughs> that that moment when you were just like, oh wait, they can, they can go through the windows too. <laughs> Speaking. Well, they were of... supposed to just stay in the fishbowl and be shot at, like. Good fish in a barrel. Not bad fish in a barrel that jump out. Unfortunately, they're not fish. They're people. Thea, let's move to you. Oh, oh and by the way, haste will end round 10, unless your concentration is broken. Oh, Thea, and by the way, first. any fish that's found in a barrel is usually bad fish. Usually, well, yeah. It's probably dead. They're bad things are supposed to die and stay in the barrel. <laughs> Thea, what do you want to do? Okay, I will. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I don't think Thea really knows creatures are coming out the door yet, so she's gonna backtrack. That is fair. Oh, and one other thing, Thea. Um, we missed this last time we were playing. When you were surrounded on both sides and decided to try and barrel through the enemies, we we didn't really clarify which what action economy you were using. Um, apparently you had intended to do things a certain way, but you failed to actually mention it to me. So basically, you hid when you shouldn't have been able to hide. But that's okay. I think you're not currently hidden at the moment. Yeah, because I, I think I hid and then I shot. So she has a hit sense. But... Correct. However, you may continue with your turn. Sorry for delaying you there. Oh, which, on that note, as I'm doing that, could I take a bonus action to hide as I'm moving over here but before I move into visual range i would ex i would accept that yes so you could bonus action hide move into okay. visual range take a shot move again and then use your haste action to hide thank you i i, I just kind of listened to you and not quite processing what i was doing accurately no worries but before she makes all this movement i would like to make a bonus action stealth hiding and that's a well that's not reliable talent but that's a good stealth check you and come back around, come around the corner, the corner I will probably shoot the big things first. I don't like big things. They seem to be disturbing and dangerous. And especially when they're, to especially when they're to in toadish entities. Uh, you have advantage on the attack and sneak attack if you hit. Okay, that's all there. And... Where's the sign button? There's that button. I would assume it's on your character sheet. 21 minus be 5 a 16? is 16. Uh, it goes to move, but it's just not fast enough as your arrow slams into its shoulder. You almost missed. Roll me damage. That's close. So that's 10 from sharpshooter, 10 from Hello? piercing, and... Can you hear me? Hello? Yes. Okay. Uh, Hello. 10 from sharpshooter, 6 from piercing, and 33 from sneak attack for a total of 49 damage. For it being a glancing blow, so to speak, not actually, that hurt. 49. I have to scroll up. There we go. Ouch! And just with kicks and giggles. Oh, wait. You will not get sneak attack yeah, I'll again. I'll use my... I'll use my action to throw a dart at the smaller guy next to Adrian. 
as you wish. You are attacking at normal because your position oh, is now revealed. Yeah, that's my haste. Um, yes, you're using your haste I'm, action. I'm blanking, but my haste action. You are using your haste action, duly noted. I believe... I need to double check, but I do believe I can still apply sharpshooter. No, sharpshooters for ranged attacks. Uh, uh, for ranged weapons, which... Wait, does the dark count as range? I just think that since I'm throwing it. I, I don't think they are ranged weapons. I think they're more like knives, like daggers or something. Ouch! Let me check. Yeah, but they still have them. Let me check the handy dandy player's handbook. Because that's a, and that's actually a really excellent question. <sighs> Dart, 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 dart. Oh, well, what do you know? Dart, simple, ranged weapon. So mm. I would say sharpshooter applies. I was wrong. So that does take care of the advantage. Okay. That does take care of the cover question because that because agent's standing right there. You're able to ignore half and three covers. You can apply your negative five penalty and add plus ten to the attack damage, but no sneak attack and no advantage. Oh, I forgot the advantage. I said. Dang it. Uh, all right, so that is 22, 22. to hit. Yes, that hits. Oh, okay. I accidentally Sorry. selected. <laughs> I, I, select, I went to select a token and accidentally selected the agent token, so I see the armor class at 25. I'm like, that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's right. You just got the wrong guy. Exactly. Uh, so that's 9 from the dart and 10 from... Uh, a uh, sharpshooter for a total of 19. Watch that health bar. Ouch. I just breeze just kind of gla like, You can feel the breeze passing over your ear, Adrian, as it just flies right by your head. Ooh, <laughs> what a breeze. Uh, did you have any movement remaining, Thea? Yes, I had about at least 30 feet of movement remaining, of which I'm going to use 25 back over there. Okay, and you cannot hide. All right. Adrian, the, uh, the has hurled a dart, just barely skimming your ear and slamming through the cheek of this fellow in front of you, who does not scream, but continues humming in a kind of off-kilter, melodious style. And he's not really looking at you, he's kind of looking past you. It's kind of weird. It's like a fishbowl effect. Mm-hmm. Of course, what I put my do, fist sir? in the air and go, fight, fight, anyway. <laughs> I cordially invite uh, you to try. <laughs> so, um, since I've got the humming guy right in front of me, I'm just going to attack him with my uh, sanguine nonetheless. Duly noted. Coincidentally, you said the last time that you were going to drop concentration right before you cast Fireball, but I don't remember why you were dropping concentration. I think it was protection from good and evil. Yeah, but you don't need to drop concentration to cast Fireball. I don't? No. Fireball's not a concentration spell. Oh. So, you can you still have protection from good from evil and good running. Oh. Just thought you'd like to know that. I keep forgetting what type of uh, good things I got from that. Um, I'm just going to put that back in the comments. <clears throat> um... Ooh. Aberrations, yeah. Celestials, Elementals, Fae, Fiends, and Undead have disadvantage on attacking you. They also cannot charm you, yeah. frighten you, or possess you. The idea of an aberration possessing anyone is kind of disturbing. Yeah. Might so, I recommend that you um, not drop concentration on that? Just saying. Because it lasts up to 10 minutes. Okay. Alright, so... But these guys are all humans. I, I don't really have any... Well, anything this, against them. This fellow is human. These yeah. toadish entities are not human. What are they? Fiends or fays? Um, your highly educated mind would know these to be aberrations. Oh. And that's part of the thing. Okay, great. <laughs> yep, and there's quite a few of them. Well, then uh, let me just continue concentrating while I uh, hit this guy in front of me with my sanguine nonetheless. That sounds reasonable. 
Oh good, I'm on normal. <laughs> oh good, and that's a stunning blow for five, uh, eight fire damage. I almost said five, five. Five, 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 minus three fire damage. Ouch! You burn him through the hole he had just planted in his cheek. Well, then I'll just give him another singe. You aim a long lunge, and the fiery point of Sanguine nonetheless punctures through his spine. He finally looks directly at you and hums a sweet lullaby as he slides to the ground and expires. Creepy. But I'm actually glad I kind of burned you. <laughs> you have one attack remaining in all of your movements, sir. Alright, I moved a couple more spaces up, so then I can try and attack this weird-looking aberration. It looks down upon you with great warty eyes. Oh. Great. Oh, cool! Seven. That's a heaven to hit! That's a solid hit for 13 fire damage, which doesn't seem to hurt him very much. Did he already, or did you already subtract health? I just oh. did. There. Oh, great. You know what? I am going to end my turn with a bonus action. Okay. Of, okay. um, let's see. It was fire, force, and lightning are the only options I have. Correct. I'm going to use force. Sounds like a good call. And the adjustment has been made. Mm-hmm. There you go. And that is the end of my turn. Noted. Thank you, sir. This Thank creature you. is banished, and so we move to the flying leather cloak thing. Who, sorely wounded, is going to... If I can go to the correct screen, that would help. Uh, da 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 it does da, not da, da, da. Have... Oh! Hilariously, it's also suffering from light sensitivity. Oh! Because it is a dark cloak. Well, it's something. <laughs> and it's I'm going to... Blood. Did we scare you? Sorry, what? I don't like big flying cloaks that look like... Well, like the giant flying vampire manta Right? <laughs> um... Screech like my favorite character. Wait, what now? What? <laughs> I said he screeched just like Mikey. Oh, gotcha. Okay, I need to do this. Whoa, that Mikey that's a dwarf. There we go. That's a bright ball of light. Okay, Sia, I am going to say that you are within range of this. I need Thea, Adrian, Dell, and Varen all to give me wisdom saving throws, please. As an <laughs> unearthly moan, keening moan echoes throughout this chamber. Uh, actually, you know what, Adrian? Uh, go, you, Adrian, I'm going to say you do not roll me a saving throw. Thea, that's a crit success. That is Thea. Yep. The second Thank you. one is Dell. Del, that's a success as well. And I didn't read all the way through this. Because this is an effect aiming to frighten, Baron gets to make this with advantage because he has steel will. And unfortunately, that doesn't help Baron at all. Baron is now frightened. But fortunately, maintaining concentration. Dell, you are not frightened. Thea, you are not frightened. Adrian, you don't need to make the saving throw because you wisely chose to continue concentration. Yes! <laughs> Aren't you glad, sir? Just for kicks and giggles, I'm curious what that number would have been. What number? If he, if he had rolled. I don't know. You want to see? <laughs> you can roll yeah. it if you want, but it doesn't count for anything. 
Doesn't count, but uh, here we go, just for just for yuck's sake. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that would have been a failure, sir. <laughs> it would have been. <laughs> Let's just scratch that off from the record. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Do you have any I uses of Indomitable left? I think I may have one left in Indomitable. Hmm. Uh, Thea, you were saying something? Oh, I was just saying a wise spell for him to have used. Indeed. <laughs> Actually, I have three Indomitables. I haven't used any yet. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, where am I? But knowing me and my luck, I probably would have rolled a nat one. That would have been very problematic for you. <laughs> oh. Who's crunching? Yeah, time for a googly eye? Uh, not yet. I hear oh. crunching and I don't know who's crunching. Not me. Noted. Um... Yeah, all right, okay. Uh, all right. And we're, there we go. Thea, you hear an odd sound and look up. Just hoving into sight over the edge of the building comes this massive orb of flesh with eye stalks writhing in all directions about it. It scans the open ground before it and all of a sudden all the eye stalks and the huge singular eye lock onto you. Well, that's not good. <laughs> Adrian! You're right next to this big, bad, blue toad thing. So you watch as some of, the, uh, some of its wounds, especially from Thea's puncture, start to close. And it has disadvantage on all of its attacks against you. Mm -hmm. Which is good, because it makes three attacks. Oh, goody. And here they come for you, sir. Well, I see at least one that one. Oh man, one of those would have been a 27. Ooh. So all those attacks miss you, Adrian. Nice. Because you've oh. got your shield up. Again, yeah. aren't you glad you have that spell on? I'm so glad I kept that going. Right, Adrian is currently frightened of that flying you mean thing. Varen? Yeah, Varen. I apologize. Thank you, sir. Uh, I need to double check the rules. Uh, okay. Huh. Well, that thing is really disturbing. Dell, I hope you can handle it on your own, because I don't want to get anywhere nearer to it. So... Wait, what? <laughs> Baron's going to do something else. That, 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 this button... Let's see. That's actually moving towards, okay. So Varen says that because he's going to, lingers on, center, good. All the creatures, uh, Varen, so there's th three visible creatures, not to you, Dell. Sorry, there are, there are several creatures that we can all hear, but Varen's able to hear something else in that area that no one can see, because it's not actually hidden. And Varen's going to drop concentration on the creature's mark, and instead try to use his last use of the slow charm. See if this will help you out at all, sir. Young Dell. Alright, I'm going to put it up in the chat. I believe these are wisdom saving throws. This is my last use of Charm of Death. And the DC is 18. 
Alright. Uh, Alright, so these guys. Let's do these guys first. And I forgot to roll this correctly the last time we were playing. Again, my bad. Oops. Yep. Nope, I got it. They do have magic resistance. Okay, so they both failed despite resistance. Ooh. Um. This fellow also has a resistance. Oh, that's a fail. Ooh. And last one. Who does not have resistance? Ouch. Okay, well, they all fail, and they're now all slowed. So, minus two to armor class for all of them. And they can only take an action or a bonus action on their turn. Wrong button. I believe their speed is also halved, and they can only make one attack, regardless of how many attacks they have access to normally. Uh, so that was Varen's turn. Varen cannot move anywhere. So Dell, we're going to move to your turn. And with his feet moving in a blur, but need... oh wait, hold on, I meant to ask ask a question. Uh, go ahead. With Does your this question, area but... look like it would be difficult for him to move through with the stone the rubble? on the ground? Yes, that would that would be difficult terrain. Yes. Oh, darn it. Well then. And you are point blank range with a creature, but it is slowed, which means it does not get to make reactions or take reactions. I think. Yep, cannot use reactions. I want... So I imagine like Varen's sweating buckets, he just points and says, Everyone slow down so I can think! And all of them just go... And uh, Cloak of Shadows. just kind of... Oofs. As he uses his channel of divinity to cast the Cloak of Shadows and turn them invisible. Alright, so... Now, I think we've discussed this before. I do not believe that this means that you have to actually cast invisibility or simply channeling divinity. Um, yeah. So let's do Ninja Mask. You're not hidden, you're just unseen. And I don't think this breaks concentration. You're just using your a class a subclass feature. So you, I will allow you to do this and also keep con concentration on banishment. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, and we'll find out later. Del, you're now invisible. Mm -hmm. Until the end Basically of your next here. turn. Wait, I have 40 feet of movement. Yes, because I cast Launch Rider on you. Yeah. And then I move over here. Excellent. Anything else for you, sir? I stay very quiet and think invisible thoughts on <laughs> noticeability. Well, hopefully that'll work. Um, later. There we go. Wait, okay. That's all I need to do be invisible. Then I should have been thinking that too. <laughs> <laughs> so slow they are speed is halved okay goody because it's the red toad's turn uh i'm assuming you've both seen um what it's like when like little kids have pool noodles how they pick them up and start whapping each other with them yes cool adrian you can't see this Varanthia, dell none of us can really see this but there's the sound of tearing legs and the sound of crunchy exoskeletons being uh, exoskeletal lin, uh, legs limbs being used to batter people. And what is that horrible noise? Crutches dies. Oh. So let's You mean I can't throw any saving throws? No. Nope. Uh, basically one of these red guys moved up to crutches and ripped the leg off, and the other moved up and ripped the leg off, and they're using them to bat each other about the heads with, uh, um, right now. Oh, poor crutches. Indeed. That's painful. <laughs> Jared's just like, ugh, that sounds crunchy and gross. 
this button, and then this button, and then that button, and got a screen here. Oh, whoops. Wrong one. Okay, and then one of you, please, um, hang on. If my dungeon master screen will cooperate with me. There we go. Um, ouch. It is going to. Right. Not yet. Not doing anything yet. Alright, top of the round to you, Thea. You. You, you are the process, process of. Something. I'm sorry? You were in the process of asking one of us to do something. Yes, uh, but I decided to um, ignore uh, to disregard that. Okay. Uh, all right. So Thea, you are hasted. You are hidden from the blue toad. You are not hidden from this flying eyeball. I don't believe she would be hidden because she attacked and would have revealed herself with the. Nope. Oh, you are correct. You did you did not hide after your most recent pair of attacks, so you're not hidden anyways. Aw, uh, what would Jesse do? I will feel very uncomfortable with so many eyeballs on me. <laughs> Valid. <laughs> All eyes are on you. Here. And I will be unseen. Hopefully. I will think unseeable thoughts. Well, that's a crit stealth for a total of 37. You are very comfortable. And as my, as my confidence restores itself, I'll go here and shoot it. I'll shoot this thing. With advantage. I want to aim for the really big eyeball in the middle. Okay. Let's see how you do. You have advantage. Ouch. Yes, if I correct my settings, I do. <laughs> that? No, wait, I don't have that. Where is that? Okay, those are quick. Uh, yes, that will hit. Sharpshooter, sneak attack. That is 10 from Sharpshooter, 35 from sneak attack, and 7 from the arrow. Four total of 52 damage. Oh, watch that health bar. Oh. Nope, the health bar, not the text. There we go. 52. Um, I'm having issues here. There we go. There you go. Well, that kind of worked. <laughs> Anything else for you, Thea? <laughs> I think I'll interaction store, lo store my longbow. Okay. Right, do I? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna interaction this door my longbow. And I'm gonna go on the other, up and over this wall. Uh, you're okay. So you're climbing on. Okay, wait, hold on. Where are you going? I'm, I'm, I'm trying to go up and over this wall, but it won't. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, here I'll like over you. Oh, I I okay. should probably use. Hang on, I got you. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm thinking okay. that would have been about 30 feet of movement. Uh, 15 feet up, and then you just clamber 15 feet down, so yeah, 30. Okay, so I moved 10, 20, 50. And then... You have 30 feet remaining because of haste and long strider. Okay, I should be able to move about there. I will accept that. You still have one action remaining to you, Thea. Yes, I will action hide. Alright, give me the stealth check. At normal. No supreme seat right. for you. Damage. I should have actually dashed. <laughs> different. Oh well. Well, a 36 is I a pretty solid dashed. stealth check. All oh, right, Adrian, we move to you, sir. All right. 
What so you I'm got? gonna attack this guy head on with. Wait, what? I, I was just thinking, what have you got? I was gonna attack him head on with my sanguine, nonetheless. That sounds reasonable. That is a hit for seven. Seven force damage that does really hurt it. No, it looks I down at you and dribbles in. and dribbles slime out of its mouth. Uh, a 14 is a glancing blow for half damage, sir. Alright, I am actually going to take uh, my inspiration point and put on advantage. Just nice. because I have a weird feeling that it might end badly, so... Here we go for advantage. Whoa. That is a crit. A crit. For six, you rolled max. Wait, no. No, you did not roll max. My bad. But you did get a total of 16 on that last hit. And you have your full movement uh, with no attack of opportunity from this creature. Thank you to mobile. And Adrian, you are not aware of the bulbous eyeball that just glanced No, at because the I'm going to be doing an action surge. Ooh. And I'm going to be hitting this guy again with Sanguine nonetheless. You're, you've decided to really hammer it home on this fellow. Oh, 19 to hit. Well, I accept that 30 for 11 force. Ow. Where's he at now? He's still alive. Well, another go at him will do. Tar starts bubbling out of the various wounds that you inflicted upon him. Oh, for another 11 damage, you hit. Still alive. And let's just top it off with this. Hopefully I top it off. That is indeed another hit. For 11, 11. three 11s in a row. Wow. <laughs> Shockingly, <laughs> it's still alive. Uh, you still have the rest of your movement, Adrian. Very painfully close. Yeah, I do have the rest of my movement. Is that your last and action let's surge? See. That was my last action surge. Excellent. And of course, my movement speed is going to teleport 30 uh, feet. Yes, arcane charge teleportation. And then I still have my other movement speed. I'm just going to move right on up to the front. Ah. Or wow. right on up, right on up to him again. Just. Stay within close range and say he's almost gone. I'll take no him out. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. Uh, all right. I believe that's it for your turn, Adrian. That is it for me. Noted. Thank you, sir. Uh, this creature is banished, and now we move to the cloak, who is massively slowed down and doesn't. It heard Dell's movement, but does not see where Dell went. So it knows Dell is not there anymore. Uh. I am thinking thoughts of a noticeability. <laughs> okay then. <laughs> uh, it can't do that because it's in bright light. <laughs> um, with limping flight and the fact that it can't really fly very far thanks to slow, it's going to flap weakly this way. Uttering another keening moan. Thea, Del, and Varen. I need wisdom saving throws once more. Adrian is a mute. So Thea first, then Del, and then I'll have one from Varen. Thea, not you are not a, you are not frightened. Del, you are not frightened. I'm not here. You can't hear me. I don't see you. I'm not here. And Baron rolls with advantage thanks to Steel Will, and Baron is not frightened either. <laughs> Fear is broken upon me! And I feel renewed with fresh vigor. Man, and thing Adrian is ugly is not and frightened. What? And I said, and Adrian is not frightened. Correct, Amundo. Still. Is it there? Wait, hold on. And take one moment. 
if you don't mind all waiting for a minute or two. All right. Nope, okay. Adrian, the various burn marks, leaking tar from this blue form, blue toadish entity, begin to seal and close as it regains hit points. Then it turns, looks down upon you, and gurgles out, Your eyeballs will make good pearl necklaces. And then it goes to bite at your face. Disadvantage, thank you to protection from evil and good, and all of those miss you. Some of them would have. Oh man, those came close. Yeah. Varen, who is not frightened anymore, maintaining concentration on slow. Get it, Varen! Right before Varen moves, Varen looks directly at you, Del, winks, and then takes off to the uh, to the side. I, I don't know if it came through clearly or not, but Varen, Del is trying to whisper, "Get him, Varen!" Yes, Varen did hear. Um, the thing is that Del is that. Oh, I was just saying, Varen does look directly at you, Del. Uh, to my knowledge, yeah. Del is not aware yeah. of Varen's new feature. Um. Which, I even though I don't cannot know what see, that is. I just think it's paint. I wasn't surprised. Yeah. Uh, Varen cannot see. However, Varen does have feral senses, and I no longer have disadvantage on attacking invisible foes. But there is a very wounded creature, so I'm going to attack it first uh, with just a standard shot from my elven longbow using an icicle arrow. Uh, whoops. Not whoops. I... Okay, interesting. I left... Okay, so ignore sharp... Uh, ignore Hunter's Mark. I forgot to uncheck that earlier. However, I did leave Sharpshooter on unintentionally, and I crit. Huh? On the flying cloak that is very badly wounded. So, let's see. Take out the six, and this... Oh, man, I rolled max damage on... On the Hunter's Mark that should have not been checked. So ignore the 16 plus 6, that should be just 10. Uh, and then, oh my gosh, 20 from cold, plus 10 from sharpshooter, 30 damage. Okay. On a creature that had 4 hit points. Varen pins it to the wall of the shrine with an ice arrow. As where it should be. <laughs> Quite so. And mutters, get scared of that. Ooh, and then he's that was cold. <laughs> <laughs> Take an inspiration point, sir. Yes. Varen is you, going you to. You as well, Varen. That was a nice. Oh, that, was a, that, that was a good kill line. Thank you. Uh, Ver- to Del, to your eyes, having just killed this flying cloak, Varen now turns. And with a regular arrow, takes a shot at open air. Um, am I going to be know he was fighting us? Wait, say what? Wait, you said they're taking a shot with an arrow at open air. I'm like, oh, I didn't know he was fighting us. What was the open air spot you fired at? Um, unfortunately, completely missing because I used trip shooter. Uh, arrows, arrows, arrows. Hang on one second. This quiver. There we go. Hold still, you. Uh, Varen took a shot directly at... 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, right here. But missed. Um, and having only moved 30 of his... How much movement? Having only moved 30 of 55 movement, Baron's going to use Lance Rider and take off through the hedges. 30 to 35 is 25 feet. Going this way. Alright, Del. 
you are no um at the end of this turn you will no longer be invisible what would you like to do sir uh, please repeat that last sentence at the end of this turn you will no longer be invisible cloak of shadows only lasts until the end of your next turn yes i Del was looking at this pile of rubble here okay and this kind of wall thing here and wondering which was larger and more concealable. So the wall is taller, excuse me, but it's also much, uh, rephrase, the very corner of the wall is much taller. The wall in general, highly broken, highly scattered, lots of holes. This pile of rubble by comparison is shorter, but more, more complete of a visual obstruction. Does that help you? Kind of. I think Del will try to get behind this thing and take the hide action. Okay. Go ahead and give me stealth check, sir. Hold on, let me double check something real quick first. Uh, that's not gonna do what I wanna do. Okay, sorry. I was trying to figure out if I could cast a spell and still hide or not. <laughs> uh, no. Unless it's a. <laughs> well, that's a. Uh, that's a fairly low stealth check, but we'll see how it goes. Please write down that your stealth check was 12, if you please. Uh, I believe that's it for you, Dell. Yes? Um. I think so. All right. In that case, we move to the Red Toad to discard their spider leg toys. Ouch. Yeah. And proceed to go My this. character, Adrian, doesn't know that yet. Not yet. Yep, okay. And they're going to use their action to dash. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. This fella is going to... Excuse me. Move to here. And is going to attempt to attack... Uh, uh Varen. Does get advantage because invisible. Oh wait, wait, I was gonna look at slow as well. Sorry, give me one second. Alright. So it's going to attack Bear. Had to check something real quick. It has advantage on the attack, and fire comes hurling out of the empty space that you just saw until the shot that you just the spot where you just saw Varen shoot an arrow at fire comes mm -hmm. ripping out of air, and that green toad entity is revealed. Which Varen apparently... Mm -hmm. Sorry? The fire's going at Varen, yes? Yes, the fire went at Varen, and missed. Ah. Varen just watches the fire go soaring and splacking against the wall, turns and looks back and says, Your warning shot was as bad as mine! <laughs> and we move to the top of the round. Thea, you're currently hidden on the far side of the wall. And um, you just saw Del just kind of pop out of nowhere right here. Just suddenly come visit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure your passive perception is higher than 12. Yes. He's still trying to hide. Kind of. <laughs> He needs practice. Um, so now she's gonna bonus action dash down about. About there. What was that? That was 95 feet of movement, I think. And yeah. your movement speed is. Because that was 90. You could just. You could have just clicked X and it would have shown your path. Uh, you right. have a movement speed of 80. Double that with dash, and that's 160 feet. 
See, so, yeah, you have enough moons to get there. And... Seeing something that looks unpleasant. I'll take a <laughs> shot at it. Why not? Uh, among <laughs> many other things, yes. <laughs> uh, you do have advantage on the attack, Zia. Yeah. That, that, and that. Wait a minute. Uh, 15 minutes, five is 10. Okay, yeah. Nope, all good. I was doing math on my end. Alright, 23 minus 5 is 18 to hit, and that's a solid hit. Sharpshooter, sneak attack. And of course, damage. 10 from Sharpshooter, 39 from sneak attack. Ow, toe. And 7 becomes 56 points of damage. Ouch! As you, so you take the shot, and then you notice the thing seems as fast as you're going. The thing seems to be moving as though completely embodied in molasses. It's going very sluggishly. Anything else for you, Thea? I did that. I am. Um, I'm gonna take a second shot at it. That. That. At normal. At normal. Thank you. You're welcome. And no sneak attack. Well, yes. Well, 24 hit. minus 5 is 19, and that will indeed hit. <clears throat> For a total of 22 damage. Thank you, sharpshooter. Once I find my mouse. And where are you? Select that token. There we go. 22 damage. Ta-da! Anything else, Thea? You still have a lot of meat, just FYI. I think... I'm gonna base move it down here. You went so far, you went off my screen. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to kind of circle around the whole wall of this place, and I realized, wow, there's a lot more trouble down here on the bottom than I realized. Right. <laughs> uh, I believe that's it for your turn, then. Yes, Thea? Yes. Adrian, we move to you, sir. Um, that'll hit for six damage. I assume you're attacking the blue hulk. Oh, yes. Not to be confused with Marvel. In twin transparent flashes, you stab through this thing's eyes that explode and grow little daisies as it flops down to the ground and starts to disintegrate to a pile of ooze. Hmm. And you wanted to take my eyes and turn them into pearl marbles. <laughs> you still have one attack all of your movement and the last you saw Thea she was somewhere over that way somewhere over that way and <clears throat> over the wall but I heard that there was another like monk like creature well there's a green creature if that's what you're referring to not sure what you mean by monk I meant to say hulky monkey or something. Oh, okay. Well, you do see this green fellow here who seems to be going very slowly. Yeah. Not exactly sure what I should be doing, but I run my maximum uh, length and then I'm just going to throw my sword at him. Hopefully it hits. 5, 10, 15, 20. You're improvising an attack with rapier. Mm -hmm. That's what thing in the list is. Improvise attack. Where are these? Here it is. Improvise weapon. Uh, da, 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 da. So I will say you can throw it. It is an unwieldy throw. So roll it at normal. So if you roll it at normal. Sorry, my brain just went distracted. Uh, please roll me. We're 1d20 plus your proficiency mod. Sorry, your proficiency bonus. And your strength modifier. Wait, no, sorry. Let me rethink that. It's a finesse weapon. Right, okay. I apologize. Go ahead and roll me a standard sanguine nonetheless roll, but at disadvantage. Okay. I'll accept that. That makes much more sense than having you roll it with a strength, uh, strength attack. Plus, it's just easier. 
A 17 does indeed hit for another 11 damage from wow. Force. 11. You can, you're really favoring the 11s tonight. I know, and then I use my bonus action to summon my sword back to me. <laughs> it reappears in your hand. Anything else for you, Adrian? Oh, yeah, I take a glance over and I notice my spider is no longer standing, but is laying limp. Indeed. And uh, two of its legs are lying on the ground to, uh, apart from it. Oh, now I'm enraged. <laughs> Unfortunately, out of movement, action, action surges, and bonus actions. Oh, well, there's still a few things up my sleeve I have. Valid. This creature is banished, so it doesn't do anything. Alrighty, um... This button, there we go. Varen's turn. Varen, maintaining concentration and keeping three creatures very slow, looks at this unfortunate green fellow and says, Now I can see you too. And I'm going to attack it. I'm going to use inspiration for advantage. Sharpshooter and Colossal Slayer if I hit. There we go. Let's see what this does. Thank you, Thea. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. 32 minus 5 is 27 to hit. And I rolled maximum damage on Colossus Slayer. So that's 8 mm -hmm. and 10 and 9 for a total of 27 damage. Yikes. The brain is ripped out of this thing's head. And it spatters and splatters into goo. Ooh, you know he's dead. That's what happens when I can see you. Can see you. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness, that's a painful hit. And then Baron's going to turn and take a shot at this slow red thing. No Colossus Slayer. Go away, Colossus Slayer. Go away. Uh, and no advantage. I'm going to use my longbow and my regular arrows. 20 minus 5 is 15 to hit. And yes, it does hit for a total of 20 damage. Wham! Huh, I think they're starting to chase me. I'm going to use Landstride. <laughs> Hi, Adrian. Oh, hi. What happened to you? You're, you're looking a little blood spattered. Not not from your own blood, just, you know, generally speaking. Uh, Del, um, it's your I, turn. I think I killed this guy's brother or cousin. One of those. <laughs> Del, you, are, you hit on your previous turn with a stealth check of 12. I am thinking fairly slightly more just a little bit unnoticeable thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. You're just, I'm just staying here. I don't want anything to find me. Because I don't want anything to come and get me. <laughs> Alright. The red creatures. One of them shot and confused and unable to move very far. Or very fast, rather. This guy actually has to go around. Come on. And dash. Oh, jeez. My mouse is having button issues again. Yes, I played uh -oh. the mouse. There we go. 
So he dashes to there. They're moving very slowly. Oops, one too far. There we go. Alright, so that's as far as they can move. Top of the round, Thea to you. You are not hidden. I bet they think everybody else is moving really fast. It's very confusing, I'm sure. What would you like to do, Thea? What? It is your turn, and you are um, not hidden. Okay. Thea will bonus action hide. Naturally. Because all things should be unnoticed until it is too late. <laughs> I like that reasoning and take an inspiration point. <laughs> With a 27, uh, you feel I'm fairly gonna... hidden. Let's see. Um, one thing I want to double check with, actually, real quick. This type of shrubbery, this would count as kind of like light, light obscurement that would allow Thea to hide behind it with Mask of the Wild. Is that correct? Um. At the risk of getting impaled on thorns, yes. Okay. Mostly just want to kind of clear some understanding. Um, sure. Five and and seeing big ugly again. I'm just gonna go ahead and shoot at him because why not? Um. So <laughs> hang on one second. You check something. Okay. Thea, you step back into sight of this thing, and you feel haste is no longer working. Or rather, it is working. You've still got concentration on it, but the magic of it is being suppressed. Almost like you've stepped into an anti-magic zone. Uh, okay, I'm sorry. So as I stepped from here to here, um, as you, you stepped said I, I felt haste. Now, As you step into this it? thing's line of sight, you feel the magic while you are still maintaining concentration on it. It's just not holding together anymore. You are not haste, so you you have no access to the haste action. You do not have the plus two to armor class. And your movement speed is not 80, it is currently 40. I'm sorry, I'm having audio trouble, but you said that happened as I stepped into its line of sight? Correct. Okay. Am I still feeling... My, my, my opportune moment to shoot? You are still hidden, yes. You still have advantage on the attack. But you can also tell... Right. Can you hear me okay? Hello? Uh, I'm losing audio. Adrian, can you hear me okay? I can hear you perfectly well. Thea, you are hidden. You have advantage. However, you can you cannot feel the benefits of the haste spell. You cannot feel the benefit of your magic armor, and you cannot and you don't have any magic arrows in your quiver currently. Basically, okay. all I, magic I on. Basically, all magic is nullified on you currently. Oh, which means the okay. same to uh, Longstrider, since I cast Longstrider on you. Okay, so 35 feet of movement. Okay. But I will still shoot at Big Ugly. No noted. Valid. Fair. Take the shot. With advantage? With advantage, yes. Yes, with advantage. Oh, 16 so minus 5 <laughs> is not a good shot. That is 11 to hit. You are so you are so confused by your sudden slow down. The arrow um well, there's a distant splash somewhere. That went very wide. And just to try something. Can we uh, 10, no, 5, 10. 15, 20, 25. Can I move over here 
to where she's out of sight of the big ugly thing. And I'm curious how how well she feels her movement work and like haste activated or not. So I know it I know it's not showing up on your light vision, but currently the thing is flying above the height of the roof. So it's thirty feet and up in the air. There's no visual obstruction to between you and it right now. Okay. So and I'm pointing that out to oh. you before. Okay, I, I, I didn't realize you were that high up. Yeah, I'm gonna point that out to you. It's like this is something you would have seen before you moved because you took a shot at it. Um, you okay. would tell you would know from the geometry that you know, moving to the east would not put you in visual obscurity. Okay. Uh. Uh-huh. Not quite sure how high up he is, but if I was to say get kind of shoulder to shoulder with this wall over here, that would probably block line of sight. Yes. Okay. So that was 10, 15, 20, 25 feet feet of movement to get to there. What do I feel now? Your magic arrows have reappeared. Magic or not? Your magic arrows have reappeared. Your haste action is back. So is Longstrider. It's almost as though the sight of this thing just nullified all of your magic. That's not okay. worrisome at all. I... What do you want to do, Thea? I believe Thea... Sorry, I was, I was trying to think through some items real quick. I believe Thea is still hidden, given that her shot did not hit. Correct. With, because you have uh, Skulker. Yeah, I was trying to look for that one, but yes. Handy feet that. If I lean out, do I feel like I can lose an arrow fast enough with my haste action or not? Uh, I'm going to say no. No? No. Okay. So I'll wait here for a moment and I'll action... Action what? I'll use my action. Hold on. Your haste action? You're yeah, still... I'm just trying you're, to see, let me see you're, you're already hidden. Your your hide did not go away because you missed. Oh, you're right. Um... There's much I can do right now. I will ready an action to shoot something with my haste action if I see the opportunity. Noted. Well planned. And because you didn't warn anyone, Adrian, you have no idea of what's coming. I have no idea what's going on at all. <laughs> what would you like to do, Adrian? <laughs> Um, well, I'm going to assume that those big red guys down over there with the curled tails that are moving sure. really slow, they were the ones that killed my spider. That's a fair assumption. I'm enraged with anger, and yet I'm not a half-orc. <clears throat> so. <sighs> Gosh. I mean, I have something I definitely want to do. Um, I'm sure you do. Yeah, but I would have to uh, drop my sword. Well, I don't know. Maybe I don't have to drop my sword. Let's see. There's my 20... 30... I'm basically going through the little green line. Sure. So that's about as far as I can go. And then I'm staring straight at him, basically in a straight line, and I cast Lightning Bolt. Nice. Uh, Let's see here. I guess I have to use this button. Uh, instead of pulling up the icon, I'm just going to draw a line. Yep. 
Yeah, that's definitely gonna hit them both. They also happen to have minus two on dexterity saving throws thanks to slow. Hey, so hey, the, cool. They do still have advantage thanks to their magic resistance. Uh, that's not gonna mess anything up to you. So, B, if you want to go ahead and switch over to uh, Discord. Is that gonna mess with you, Jake, with you, Adrian, or is that kinda, or are you already ready for that? I'm uh, ready to go. I'm in um, Discord as well. And everyone there? I see you, Thea. I do not yet see Adrian, but I'm going to go ahead and roll deck saving throws while I'm at it. They have advantage and minus two to each one. So I'm having, I'm having a lot of audio trouble. I'm hoping it's just for 20, but I'm not sure. I'm going to have to delete that out later. Uh, 18 minus 2 is 16, and 16 minus 2 is 14, so they both fail. Uh, there he is. Adrian, welcome back, sir. Uh, just so you're aware, thanks to the effect of slow, they both fail their saving throws. Roll lightning bolt damage, sir. That's 8 delta 6 lightning damage. Uh, you're muted in Discord, just so you're aware. Well, at least he can hear me. Um, Adrian, I don't know why, but you are muted on eh, on Discord, so I cannot hear you. However, that is 21 lightning damage. Ow, that hurt. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. You figured out how to unmute okay, yourself. Cool. Well done. Uh, however, it doesn't seem to have hurt them terribly much. Almost like they're resistant to it. Oh, dang it. All right. Anything else for you, sir? That was your action, your movement. I believe that's it for you. Yes? Um, well, that is it for me. All righty. In that case, we move to the next turn. Oh, oh um, I actually... A question. Uh, what's your distorted question? Can you sir? hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Better? I can hear you. Okay. Uh, um. What's I, a potion of lightning breath. What is that? Uh, that would be an action to drink. Um, and then it would give you a bonus action ability to breathe lightning. I think three times. Can you hear me? That's not the right thing. Um, I have uh, something we use this action. Can you hear? You're very distorted, sir. Um, I think it's because I'm in Discord. Okay, I just shared the potion of lightning press for you. Uh, yes, the yeah, it would be easier, I think, to go back to roll 20 for audio. Adrian, you okay with that? Adrian? After you drink the potion, you can use a bonus action to expel lightning as a target within 30 feet of you. Dude! That's cool. Adrian, did you hear that we're going to switch to roll 20? 
He has audio issues are not related to Yes, roll hear me. Yes, go ahead and switch back to roll 20. Okay. Thank you. And there you are. Hey, there I am. All right, so Adrian, you blast lightning, and then this fellow, yeah, you don't see this guy yet, but you do hear him. This fellow just appears out of nowhere. And I almost forgot something. What? What is quote this fellow? Hey, it looks like that big guy that was carrying that great sword that was also formerly a little blonde girl. Oh yeah. wait, it's the toad. That He's seems back. Like a good thing to kill. <laughs> right. Uh, that one creature is banished. Hello. Uh, hello. Yeah. Sorry, mm -hmm. just technical difficulties. Okay. Fair, fair enough. The huge flying creature is going to go over here. <laughs> it's. Enormous eye looking directly at Dell, which means while Banish is still in effect, its effects are suppressed. Uh oh. What? So Dell is still concentrating on banishment, but the spell is current but the spell is currently being suppressed. Its effects are being suppressed. So that means big ugly bone thing is back. Oh great. Indeed. Thea, the thing the big eye the big flying eye moving over here means that everything in this direction. Oh, sorry, I left it on the square. My bad. Uh there we go. Basically everything that way from you is not in the, in its line of sight anymore, which means you can use your ready to action before it continues with its turn. Okay, so would I be able to use my ready to action on this thing? Sure. With advantage, even. Make it. You're welcome. Because you were still hidden. That. I would have gone for the eye guy. Well, now that she could try, but turning out and attacking it would have put her in its line of sight and nullified her haste oh. action. Uh, 24 minus 5 is 19. 19. I was answering a question from am Adrian. I, am I making it? I was answering a question from Adrian. It doesn't have anything to do with, anything to do with you. Uh, oh, 19 okay. to hit does hit. Give me sneak attack. Nope. Uh, actually, yeah, sneak attack does apply. Sorry. Sharpshooter. 10 damage from sharpshooter. 36 from sneak attack. And 13 from piercing. For a total of 59 damage. Watch that health bar. Boo! <clears throat> there's no way it can maintain concentration ah. against that. <laughs> there's, there's just no way. <laughs> now, having said that... <laughs> Update. That does mean your position is revealed, Thea. Yeah. So, that does mean okay. you, Varen, and Adrian are all targets. Uh, Alright, Thea. Let's have you give me... Let's check. Please give me a constitution saving throw or be paralyzed for one minute. And then Adrian. I'm going to use my inspiration. That sounds like a good idea. 
Okay, 13 is not a success, so you are paralyzed, Zia. Which means haste does end on you. Uh, why didn't it roll again? Oh, because I didn't hit roll. Adrian, let's see what happens to you. Oh, Enervation Ray. Adrian, please give me a constitution saving throw against necrotic damage. And then for Am Baron... I able to do advantage on this one, or just is regular? Is Longstrider still active, or is that ended as well? Uh, Longstrider is not reliant on your concentration. So Longstrider is still in effect on you. Uh, Adrian, for, for now, just give me a roll at normal with const for constitution saving throw. This is to see how much damage you're going to take. Okay. Please roll high. Um, that's not high. Would you like to use indomitable? Oh, yes, I would. Fair enough. Roll indomitable. Indubitably, roll indomitable. Well, that's better, but not quite enough. So you are still going to take 25 necrotic damage. And now you can give me an, a saving throw with advantage to maintain concentration. Well, let's see. I get rid of all my temporary hit points. That's great. That's 18. And I'm 19, looking for, 12, uh, for 13 or higher. 23, 24, 25. Okay. I'm looking for a con save of 13 or higher to maintain concentration, sir. You maintain concentration. Nice. Well done. Alright, and now for Varen. Come on. Uh oh. That can't be good. Oh gosh. Uh, Varen has to make a dexterity saving throw. This could be interesting. Oh. Uh, so Varen succeeds on his saving throw and does not get disintegrated along with the ground at his feet. Varen just goes, what in the blazes was that? As these beams just shoot out every direction. And there's suddenly a hole right next to Varen's feet. Varen, the, the Varen just kind of stares down into like, ah, uh, what? Okay, that's worrisome. Uh, Alright, so we move to Baron's turn. Maintaining concentration on slow to keep those red guys slow. Uh, that guy's got a lot of health left, but that guy looks fairly wounded, so I'm going to attack that guy. I'm... Um, hold on. Holding on. I had a fair amount of audio trouble. Okay. Hmm. Waiting. Uh, Baron is attacking at normal. He's not hidden. So that thing's been pretty hard. To, well, not for Thea, very hard to hit. Um, you know what? I'm going to try it with Colossus Slayer and Sharpshooter. Let's see if this works. Attacking at normal. Eighteen minus five is a miss, so I'm not going to use sharpshooter this time because attack and hitting him was far more valuable than not hitting. Him. Well, that'll hit, and Colossus Slayer adds five for fifteen damage. Um, that big eye is really scary, and now the skeletal thing is back. Which is also really scary. Uh, so, come on, where's my mouse? What the? I don't know what just happened to my mouse. Hang on. I have no idea. Either. Come on. Why won't my mouse won't grab my character token? There. 
Okay, fix that. And I'm using land stride. Get around that wall. And much like you, yeah, I'm gonna use my bonus action to hide. Because whoa, that got scary real fast. Hmm, not terribly well hidden. Okay, Dell. You're caught in an area of anti magic. None of your magic items function properly, nor do your spells. What would you like to do? I'm going to try to just discreetly crawl over here. Discreetly crawl? Does that get me out of sight? Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say yes. Which means... Banishment <laughs> returns. So, Adrian, you just see like this bo monstrous bone thing with a scorpion-like tail appear and then disappear. It appears, snarls at you, and whoop, disappears. Anything Please else tell me that was a figment of my imagination. <laughs> Please no, tell me I'm dealing with delusions of grandeur. <laughs> I'm thinking of this Hold on. Sure thing, Dill. Adrian, how take an inspiration? Okay. How what? Did Adrian say something? Yes, Adrian said uh, Adrian was being funny. But what were we going to do? Okay, I apparently cannot hear Adrian. For one thing. Oh, that's uh, strange. Uh, I was, I, I was having a lot of audio trouble as you were describing some of the stuff earlier, and I think Dia took twenty-five necrotic damage. No. Um, some type Dia of. Got uh, Dia no? got paralyzed. Adrian took the damage. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna fix that. So Adrian took necrotic damage. Varen almost got disintegrated. Thea got paralyzed. Okay. And I think Dill would see that. Yes? I would accept that. Uh, I would accept that as reasonable. Let me double check some stuff real quick. Hold on. Sure thing. I understand you were having audio issues. Okay. And wait, what is that? That is that. Okay. Um, Del wants to kind of look around. And what he's thinking. He's thinking if he could hide behind this wall over here. Away from the creepy, creepy multiple eyeballs that cause a massive amount of trouble. <laughs> <laughs> if he might be able to get out of sight behind this wall to be able to cast a spell or not. So where he is right now, he's out of he's out of the direct line of sight, so he can already cast a spell. Yes, but that doesn't do what he wants to do. So okay. would he be able to get behind this wall and then be out of line of sight? One way to find out. How like how high up is this creature? Um, it's about thirty-five feet up in the air. So that and this would be unknown. Wall's about fifteen, I'm thinking. That should be but um, up. let me see if I can make this here. Hang on. Um, uh, buttons. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. They can't move. So its vision was basically like looking in that direction. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. So what Dell's gonna try to do, he's gonna run over here. And get past the end. Okay. I think he can do that, right? Uh going through the oh, space. Shoot, I forgot to check something critically important. Moving through the space would be typical okay. terrain, so yes he can go that far. Okay, that does definitely use up his movement. I forgot to check something critically important. Oh no! Yeah. 
Okay. One willing, if I can bring one willing creature to Dimension Door, I assume that still applies if they're paralyzed, but willing? Um, yes. Now that she knows what he's planning okay. to do. But I would accept it. No. Obviously, Del's gonna grab Thea, and he's gonna Dimension Door out of it. Fair enough. You, and so Del, you rush up to Thea, squeeze past her and behind the cover of the wall, grab onto her, and where do you want to go? Hey, Sides yeah, away. away. <laughs> <laughs> so Thea is paralyzed for one minute or until she um, breaks free of the paralysis early. She will get to make saving throws at the end of each of her turns. Uh, I oh, think I didn't that's... know that. That's <laughs> something else. Oh, oh well. <laughs> Alright, so Del, you port away <laughs> with Thea's you know immobil gonna get us. immobilized body. Anything else for you, Del? I am thinking a noticeable thought. <laughs> Noted. Adrian, <laughs> guess what? It's the red things that are moving in slow motion towards you. And as they press up, taking the at and dash, oh, I can't actually go there. Because there, that would be fun. Okay, so he's only going to be able to go to here. And get some health back. Health back. And the dash to here. And get some health back. All right, top of the round, we go to Thea. Thea, you're paralyzed, can't do anything, so your turn ends. Give me a constitution saving throw. Working on it. Normal. Um, there. A 14 is not a success, you remain, you remain paralyzed. Adrian, it is now your turn, sir. You're not sure where that necrotic wave of death came from. No, I'm not sure, and I don't think I really want to know exactly where it came from, but there is this guy right here in front of me. So, there is, there is indeed. And I'm noticing that he has the scent of spider on his mouth. Indeed. You or at least on his hands. At least on his clawed hands. You are not a Wookiee. No, but I am growling. Fair Grr. enough. Go for the attack, sir. All right. I'm actually going to drop my Sanguine nonetheless. Okay. And then I'm going to slash at him with this. Oh, hello. Haven't seen this for a little while. Uh, that does indeed hit. Four, I'm checking, seven slashing damage. You have two more attacks, Adrian. And then I take uh, my sword and I stab it into him. Into his shoulder, anyway. That also hits for another seven damage. You and cut then my a bonus shallow gash. I... I'm sorry? You cut a shallow gash into his shoulder. In your final uh -huh. attack? Well, I was actually thinking of having just my sword sticking into his uh, body. Oh, okay. And then uh, summoning my Sanguine nonetheless to my hand through bonus okay. action. And okay. then hitting him. Fair enough. Ow. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> that goes right into his chest. That hurt. <laughs> Anything else for you, sir? Uh, well, he's kind of in front of my... Um, pathway in the thorny bushes correct and i want to get around him somehow can i do like a like can i use some of the uh, app or um some of my movement for like an acrobatics and try to like uh, move in between him or around him somehow that would require your bonus action or an action ah okay then and eh, never mind pretty sure you just used them both yeah i did use them both <laughs> Do I mean, they were, those were some fantastic attacks, though, so... Uh, Alright. Pretty radical. <laughs> that was radical, man. Alright. 
this creature. That guy's banished, so this guy's going to take a turn, right here. He points at you and utters a rather disgusting sounding cough. And I need to draw a shape. Uh, this button, this button, and this button. Um, that was not the shape I wanted to draw. What? What happened here? Oof. Um, hang on. This button. Oh, that's why. Okay. I think that's about right. Can't really see it too well. Five. Okay, it's not not right. Okay. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten. 15, 20, get right out there, there we go, 5, 10, 15, 20, perfect, 5, let's see, 5, 10, 15, 20, Adrian, you are suddenly completely in uh, surrounded by a cloud of yellowish, yucky poison. Not again. Indeed again. Yeah. Ew. Stinky. It's quite stinky. Okay, who farted? Uh, the <laughs> fellow toting the great sword. That is a really long range fart. Indeed. Silent, but deadly. <laughs> so on the start of your turn, Adrian, you'll have to make a constitution saving throw. Okay? Alright. Alright, so that happens, and then he's going to move... There. Out of sight. Alright. The flying guy. Uh, da, 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 da. Come on. Adrian, you can't see it. It can't see you, but it knows you're there somewhere. Hmm. Adrian, please roll me one delta three. Wait, one delta three? Yes, sir. No, Actually, hold on. Hold, hold, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Roll D six. Okay. Roll D six. Again. Yes, sir. And then one more time. Okay, thank you. Come on. There we go. Um, there's a blast of power. Oops, wrong button. Uh, how do I describe this adequately? Um, Adrian, you're not sure, but it seems like a pile of rubble just suddenly went away. Turned to nothingness. A pile of rubble just disappeared? Oops, wrong button. Yep. Uh, because the first D6 you rolled selected no no creature as a as a target. Okay. So disintegration disintegrated some 
rubble. Uh, alright, and then... Can these guys even be targeted by charm? I guess so. Alright, so, let's find out what the death ray does. So this should be interesting. Uh, dex saving throw, yes, with advantage, minus two. Well, that takes away a nat 20, and instead it replaces it with an 18, which is a success. No, wait, I'm sorry, 21. 21 is, a, is that is a nat 20, goodness gracious me. Minus two, 21 becomes 19, that is a success. Uh, so it does not, so, this red toad thing does not take massive amounts of necrotic damage. And then... If I could type correctly... Ooh, echo. Oh dear. This is not gonna oh go dear. well. For who? For the red thing in the smoke that you're in, Adrian. Uh oh yeah, um, this fellow is charmed. So he's slowed and charmed. It's just kind of standing there going, uh, 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 uh. It better not start falling in love with me, or else we're going to have problems. <laughs> All right, that was that, and it's now Varen's turn. Baron's going to step out from hiding. I have advantage on my Baron! first shot. And I see nope. that guy, the guy that farted at you, Adrian. So I'm going to attack him with advantage on my first shot. Working on it. And since I have advantage, I'm going to try for sharpshooter. Please help. Please work. Please work. Please work. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, wow. 31 becomes 26 to hit. And that's 1 from Colossus Slayer. Bummer. Uh, 10 from Sharpshooter and 6 from the Arrow becomes 17 points of damage. Ouch. Ow. Very ow. Uh, and Baron is going to shoot it again. But this time at normal and no Sharpshooter. And no Colossus Slayer. Turn that off. There we go. And shoot. Well, 21 will hit for another 8 damage. Ooh, good. Um, and then Constitution saving throw to maintain concentration. First save versus 17. Uh, well, it's a nat 1. So that uh, big cloud of death all around you, Adrian? Yeah. Oh, wrong button. Sorry about that. Come on. There we go. Hey, you're no longer surrounded by a death. Oh, good. I was actually going to cast Gust of Wind if it stuck around long enough. <laughs> Smart call. Uh, for, so, for taking that, those two shots, Varen's going to move out of sight and hide. Bye-bye. <laughs> I don't want to Do be I out in the open right now. Do saving throw at the beginning of my turn? No, sir. Oh, okay. Del, you're right there next to Thea, who's paralyzed. You're currently concentrating. What would you like to do? I... And Adrian, I'm you have the hand. do something helpful. Lesser restoration. Lesser restoration. Hey, Thea, I you're can you're no hear longer Thea. paralyzed. What was that, Thea? What was that, Adrian? I can hear Thea. Indeed. <laughs> Thea, can you hear Adrian? <laughs> Thea, can you hear Adrian? Yes, I, I, I did a reconnection earlier. Oh, okay. Oh, good. cool. Thea, you're no longer paralyzed. Dell has cast lesser, lesser restoration on you. Say that five times hey. fast. No, thank you. So, can't quite hide yet, but he is going to go back to thinking a noticeable thought. He oh, can wait, he's going to move first. <laughs> I was going to say. 
Yeah, like, oh, he's yeah. kind of like, kind of get out of the way so he wants to go to the gate, and then he's gonna start thinking and notice more thoughts. I'm not about here. I'm, I'm not here. <laughs> I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> this is all a dream. This is all a dream. Right? Uh, and I accidentally deleted one of those uh, red toad fellows, so I gotta put him back in. There we go. Alright! The red fellows! <clears throat> this guy can only get to here, because the other <coughs> guy's in his way. The other fellow is going to attack you, Adrian. Oh, of course he is. Well, wait a second, he's that uh, far away. Uh, the one that's right next to you is going to attack you. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Indeed. And the one behind and behind the one next to you is at full health. You just saw the last of his wounds closed. Now, the these guys, uh, they attack me at normal or disadvantage? They're attacking at disadvantage. Yeah. Because you still have the spell going. All right. Ah. So here comes a bite and two claws. Nope, I tell a lie. One bite. Again, because they are currently. S oh my goodness! With disadvantage, he gets twenty-five. That Shields will up. You cast shield. And you do not take the bite. All right, top of the round, Thea. It is to you. Where did that come from? My <laughs> goodness! <laughs> that bite went right at your face, mm -hmm. Anna, sir. <gasps> you know what? I just realized. Um, he's charmed, so he does not attack you with a bite. You do not cast shield because he's charmed. Oh, I do not because he is charmed. That's right. So he just stands there staring at you like. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah. Let me double check. Sorry, hang on. Oh, I beg your pardon. He does attack you. He does get twenty-five, and you do cast shield. I I misread <laughs> that. Basically, he can't. Okay, so he cannot attack the one who charmed him, which is this fellow up here. All right, Thea. Now to you. And Adrian, as they said, you have the trigger on when we stop. We are at the time. Oh, we can keep going. Noted. Feeling just Thea? slightly out of place. Confused. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not quite sure if a person can really tell what's going on around them when they're paralyzed or not. You but either can... way, it's going to feel rather out of place suddenly being moved like that. Oh, definitely. Uh, <laughs> I am going to bonus action hide. Because That's fair. I think she'd be done unnoticed. That's the use of reliable talent. And I'm going to start moving up here. And here. No, hold on, sorry, that's the wrong one. There. Hey, hold okay. on a second. I'm having a hard time trying. Just a second, let me fix that real quick. That was... Okay, I cannot occupy that square. Sorry. A little difficulty picking that square there. You're um, fine. and seeing one of these guys standing slack jawed over here near Agent, I figure why not shoot that? That seems like a good thing to do. That seems reasonable. You probably just saw its its jaws bouncing off of Baron's shield, or sorry, Adrian, Adrian's <laughs> shield. It's one of those weird names. Those weird yeah, names. incorrect name there. Uh, but I assume I have advantage. Yes, I you have advantage on the attack. I have advantage. You do. And so that's that fifteen good hits. That do fifteen does hit. Sharpshooter, sneak attack, and regular damage. Oh my giddy Aunt Martha, that is 51 damage, which just happened to be the exact number of hit points it had. Oh my gosh. It dies right in front of you, Adrian. I don't know about you guys, but that's what I call a close encounter. <laughs> I agree. This thing's just like standing in his mouth right next to you, and all of a sudden his head just kind of just like whips sideways and limps over. <laughs> in slow motion, no less. Anything else for you, Thea? And that's as far as Thea can continue to move. Okay, and you cannot hide because you hit earlier. 
All right, Adrian, you do not have to make constitution saving throws against poison. What would you like to do, sir? I run across the dead creature's body and I attack it, twin. I agree wholeheartedly. Go for it. All right, so I take my sanguine nonetheless and mm -hmm. I hit him. That makes sense. You barely hit him, but hit him indeed you do. For eleven force damage. Whammo! Now I do drop now I do drop my sanguine nonetheless, and I take my bonus action and command my uh, scimitar to come to my hand. It appears in your hand. And then I attack him. You hit again Go for, for the jugular. Damage. The jugular! The jugular! I can't do I can't do the actual voice. But take an inspiration point for Timo. Ah. <laughs> and you're welcome. Thank you. Adrian, your final attack, sir. I attack him again with my scimitar. Makes sense. You do hit, but to lesser effect. Anything else for you, sir? See, I told you he would come in handy. Yeah, that's the line I was trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, then I'm going to do something really strange, which is go all the way around to him on this side so that any other particular person who could have a little advantage could come and help me. <clears throat> Just saying. Duly noted. Uh, is that it for your turn, sir? That's it for my turn. Alrighty. Uh, that creature is banished. So this creature is going to act instead. Well, first off, it heals a little bit, because... Ow! Oh. oh? Hey, I apologize. I miscounted Thea's maximum movement. You mind if I just move her another 10 feet? Uh, you may. Thank you. You're welcome. No, no critical changes or anything like that. Just, I know I wanted to move further. I just forgot what the movement was. Fair enough. Um, it's gonna go here. Adrian! Because I can't get anyone else in range, darn it. Oh, darn. Please give me a dexterity saving throw. Not bad. As that creepy fellow comes out, points its enormous greatsword at you, and a tiny little spark goes floating off the point of the blade, and hits the ground right at your feet. Oh, please roll big. Please roll big. Are you feeling lucky? Punk. <laughs> uh, where's the DC? Uh, Adrian, you do succeed, so you're going to take half damage from it. Oh, goody, goody. As that tiny you little lucky. as that tiny little spark suddenly blossoms into a really big ball of fire with a low oh. ferocious roar that's quite familiar to you. Had to double check the damage. Yep, might help if I hit the buttons the right way. And unfortunately for the red toad-like entity, it failed its dexterity saving throw, so it's not going to take full damage. It seems to be resistant to fire. So what's half of 35? Like 17 or something? It is 17.5, and we round up for the monsters. Oops. Okay, so basically I take 18 damage. You take 18, and so does the creature in front of you. Okay. That's uh, okay by me. All right. And Adrian, you're not, you don't have 25 armor class anymore. In fact, your armor feels really, really, really heavy all of a sudden. And Sanguine nonetheless isn't on. 
It's an anti-magic field. Oh, Is this great. guy open to die? All right. Um, wait, does that take an action? I don't think it does. So my shield is heavy and my armor is heavy? Pretty much. Oh, it has to choose creatures it can see. Oh, well, that's good to know. Um, all right, so first I ray is going... You can see me, I'm of invisible thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what the, what I rays come up because, okay, paralyzing I ray against is it going to be you sir or is it not going to be you let's find Eight out shall we? Uh, um, disappearing thoughts okay the creepy toad like entity pulling a great sword is not paralyzed Let's find out. Okay, Adrian, please give me. Let's find out. A wisdom saving throw at advantage because you have Fey ancestry. Uh, oh, wait. This does not affect you because you still have protection from evil and good. Protection from evil and good. <laughs> you don't even have to make the saving throw, sir. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh oh. You have no small cuts. I working for you. Impar apparently, and um, let's find what out how this goes. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, geez. Advantage, but minus two to dexterity saving throw for the uh, red fellow. Okay, so that's a 21. That is a success, so it takes no damage from that disintegration ray. Ow. It'll take damage from me eventually. <laughs> so Adrian, all of your Oh All of your magic is currently not working Because you're in the anti-magic So you would have to make the wisdom saving throw Against um, being charmed Oh But still I with would. advantage Still with advantage still With advantage. Let's hope I don't roll anything Too terribly bad <laughs> Right which has happened to me before. Come on, please be like A nat yes! 20. You are not oh, charmed. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Feels I good. Was... Feels really, really good. I bet it does. So, what was my self check earlier? 16? I have to check. Nope, that's the self check. No, my earlier self check was 15. Which is not enough to hide. So Varen's next attack does not have advantage. As I attack that fellow. Because that fellow is very dangerous. He just spat, and spat fire at you. That's your trick. I don't want him using your trick. So no Colossus... No, sorry, no Sharpshooter. But Colossus Slayer instead. Do I have Inspiration? I do not. So attack at normal. Go! Fly, my arrows! Fly! And hit with a dirty 20 for 13 damage. It's still alive. Baron just kind of stares at him. Lob his head off. Baron just kind of stares at this thing. It's like, how tough are you? It takes another shot. Oh! That shot takes it right through the throat. So that guy's no longer, no longer concerned. That's handy. Uh, I'm gonna hide. Bye. Nice shot. Thank you. And Baron ducks behind cover and is gonna hide. Stealth. Whoa! Died. Baron disappears. Del. It is your turn, sir. I'll Del move okay. up here. For now, I'll move there. And I will concentrate very hard on my thoughts of unnoticeability. 
take an inspiration point for Dell. Uh, kind of working for me. <laughs> you hey. Hmm? I was gonna see okay. if I could give it to Thea, but it doesn't matter. They both have inspiration. Ah, fair enough. All right, this fellow is going to regain some hit points. And then it's going to attack you, and now at normal because you're not because protection from evil and good is suppressed. Yeah. But still, but still only with one attack because he's still slowed. And he gets a nat one. Oh. Top of the round to you, Thea. <laughs> still dealing with that headache of charm, aren't you? <laughs> it's just kind of, nope. The charmed one is dead. This was the charmed one. Oh, still dealing with that slow effect, huh? <laughs> yeah. Baron's just on the other side of the wall, like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thea, what do you want? You Thea's are not hidden. Move. Oh, I thought I was. No, I'm nope, not. you're not right. hidden. You bonus yeah, action hid and bonus then attack. Bonus action hide, please. Okay. I accept your hide of thirty-two. There you go. And I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to okay. check big unpleasantness. That seems reasonable. You have advantage on the attack. I don't need this character sheet. In particular, I want to hit the big eyeball. That thing is a pain. Agreed. <laughs> Next start, start, yes. Well, what was that? wait. Um, that was not supposed to happen. Okay. I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't. I thought I was shrinking the character sheet, and all of a sudden it rolled an attack. I'm like, huh? Twenty-one <laughs> minus five is uh, sixteen to hit. Sixteen. Um, why can't I select it? Okay. Sixteen. The arrow goes under him by about two feet. <laughs> it's a painful. <laughs> but you are not revealed. Anything else for you, Thea? I have a move. Yes, I'm gonna keep moving. Fair enough. There. Excellent. Adrian, to you, sir. Okay. Uh, I've been thinking about this real good, and I'm gonna do something that I have not done in a very long time. And that is? I'm just going to run away from this creature. <laughs> Which will not trigger an attack of opportunity because it is not it is still slowed. And I'm and you going can, to go through You can only move at half speed because your armor is quite heavy on you. Oh really? Only at half speed? Only at half speed. And I was dashing. <laughs> so dashing gets me here. And don't forget that the green trails are also uh, um difficult terrain. Oh! <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm going to reroute myself. Okay. Just letting you know. So I'm basically here now. Alrighty. And that was my full dash. Excellent. Anything else for you, sir? Uh, yeah, I almost wish to cast a uh, um, Expeditious Retreat to get myself even further, but that would probably drop my protection from good and evil, but it, I'm probably it, also still in the ray of that triple E-eyed guy. You so. are still in his eye ray. Arrgh. Oh boy, that thing is a pain. I hate that thing. I'd rather have the gelatinous cube. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Yeah, you're still well within its it's a uh, it's a uh, eye range. Well, I was trying to go somewhere else. Noted. All right, so that creature I is still banished. You. <laughs> I imagine that's something like what it thinks. Yes, it goes to here. All right, it can only see two creatures, so it's only going to do two eye rays. 
Let's see. Thea, please roll me. Uh, 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 sorry, first off, Adrian, choose odd or even. And Thea, roll me D6. D6? D6. Oh, All right, sorry. first shot at you, Adrian. That again. <laughs> Too late! <laughs> Adrian, prepare yourself, as in huge beam does not actually go at you. Because I just remembered something. It can't affect you because you're in an anti-magic zone. Both you and this creature are in an, are in an anti-magic zone. So you see it, and its eye stalks waver and look at you, but nothing actually happens. <clears throat> so oh! Anti-magic. I'm sorry. What? That's right. I said it's anti-magic to own its own magic. Apparently, he can feel it. Varen's going to use land stride to get to here. Uh, let's see. This guy, or should I go after this guy? This guy seems like the bigger threat. And I did successfully hide, so my first shot's at advantage. Sharpshooter, longbow, Colossus Slayer. If I hit. And I'm going to, okay, yeah. Time to use icicle arrows. I'm running on regular arrows. 18 minus five is not a good shot. Bummer. Should have not used sharpshooter. All right, so I'm not gonna use sharpshooter, but I'm still going to attack with my cold arrows, normal. Icicle. Oh, and that one. Oh. Oh. Baron slinks behind the wall. Just, oh, man, I shouldn't have gone so fast. I should, should have thought it through better. And tried to hide. Eh, not even very well hidden, either. That was a lousy turn for Baron. Ouch. Del, what would you like to do, sir? Oh, sorry. Uh... I imagine you maintain concentration. Kind of Three. Who's stealth all is that? That's not mine. That's yours. Okay. It's mine. Uh. I'm gonna try to action. Worth it? Del's gonna have second thoughts, and he's just gonna stay quietly out of sight. And Fair enough. Attempt to. Hold on. You can use your. Um... Oh, baby, baby. Sorry, hold on. Before you before you ask, you do have an ability, a feature. Um, where is it? Not channel divinity. You have blessing of the trickster. Use your action to touch a willing creature. Oh, other than yourself. Never mind. Yeah. Continue. I was going to ask, if he attempts to redo a stealth roll and rolls lower than his previous, does that make it worse? Yes. So I am going to remain quietly unobtrusive. And, and stay where you are. <laughs> Duly noted. All right. He's going to take an action to dash. He's determined to get to you. Thea, you're up next. You are still hidden. Ooh. Yeah. I want to shoot the unpleasantness. Too many bad eyeballs causing <laughs> big problems. Very well, go for the attack. I believe I'm still hidden from the last time since I never made a hit, yes? I, I did say you're still hidden. Just double check. Yep. You are fine. Go for the attack. Well, that'll hit. That's much better. That's a much better. Uh, 10 from sharpshooter, 39 from sharp from sneak attack. So that is a total of 55 damage. Watch that health bar. Why are too many eyeballs looking around? <laughs> and I will remove myself. <laughs> I'm removing myself from your awareness on my, of me on the battlefield. 
ducking inside the shrubby. I don't believe. Hold on, let me give it a check. I don't see. I don't see anything living or doing anything in this space. Yes. Other than flies buzzing all about the altar. Cool. I I I, I don't like this for now. That's a nice stealth check, Adrian. To you, sir. All right, so I use my action to uh, drop my shield. Okay. Use my interaction to put away my sword. And I just okay. start cranking. Which can only go about 20 feet up. Yep. You are so slow. I know. This really blows. That creature That's about is all finished. I can do, right? Well, wait a second. Oh, uh, I want to use my bonus action, Second Wind. Ah, nice. You can indeed. Do, 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 there we go. <clears throat> nice. You regain 23 hit points. Nice. So that this... takes me to 46. So this creature, this many-eyed thing, is going to suddenly turn, spin about in mid-air, even though it continues flying this way. So now it's so it's flying towards you, Adrian, but it is now facing back this way. Why? And then three eye socks turn around. Adrian, please choose odd or even. Even. Thea, roll me a d6. It's gonna land on me. Hold on, let me make a first attempt. Oh, okay, the first attempt first. I like that one. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, no. Super two. two. My gosh. Oh, I, I clicked the wrong button. Can I try again? <laughs> no. Adrian, I need a wisdom saving throw <laughs> from you. <laughs> All right. I'm going to use my inspiration point so I can roll it at an advantage. Excellent. Uh, Adrian, you are frightened of that flying eyeball. Ah, good thing I'm running away from it. <clears throat> <laughs> Pretty much. Golly, I even put an advantage and I still got a bad roll. The thing it wants you apparently. Um, and then DC 16 deck save. That is 17, so it does succeed and does not take 46 necrotic damage. Yeesh. Thought uh, protection from good and evil would help me on that. Well, unfortunately, you know what? You're right, because you're no longer in its eye, in its uh, eye of uh, anti magic. So you're. You don't need to make a wisdom saving throw. So I'm not frightened? You are not frightened, sir. Protection from people oh, and good is back space. on. Oh, cool. Thank you for mentioning that. I forgot. It's the working or the not working or the working, working, not working. Yeah, thanks for that headache. Okay. So Varen steps back <laughs> and is suddenly enveloped in its anti-magic zone. So I don't get to use, well, magic. Which means this guy is not slowed anymore. Varen's just like, uh-oh. Knew I was coming. Uh, uh, I'm gonna shoot it! No ice arrows! I have no ice arrows! Oh. So I'm just gonna shoot with my regular ammo. Or regular quiver. Oh my goodness! Um, that'll hit. 32 to hit for a total of 10. Thank you, Colossus Slayer. I'm just gonna shoot it again. And take an arrow away, and take away the Lost Slayer, and there we go. And shoot. Uh, it dodges to one side, but still takes six points of damage. And then Baron's gonna duck behind the wall this way. Move, let's see, 10, 15 feet. That is 30 feet. And to the wall, so it's 35 feet. And I can't hide because, because there's a bunch of holes in this wall. And Varen's like, oh, come on! <laughs> Del, to you, sir. We're nearly at, at the 13 I, round marker. I'm really not here at all. 
I am unknowable. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I think you are knowable. <laughs> Alright, uh, <laughs> since it's no longer slowed... Uh, wrong button. Oh great, here it comes for an attack. And it does have disadvantage because you are used to have protection from evil and good. Yeah. So Here first attack. I mean, I'm looking at 15, you know. So that takes so if a it's nat above 15, he gets me. Um, so that's one attack that hits, and because you have protection from evil and good, that takes a nat 20 and turns it to a nat 1. Oh, the nat 20 turns to a nat 1? Because you have protection from evil and good, it had disadvantage on all of its attacks against you. Okay, cool. But you do get hit by the bite for nine piercing damage, sir. Uh, I'll take it. Fair enough. Top of the round. Del, one more round, and that bone creature will be permanently banished from this fight. Thea, you're up next. I, did, I believe I bonus action hit at the end of my last turn. You did. Yes. Yes, you did. I... Once. And you got a, Plus and you got a 33. Take those eyeballs out. You have advantage and sneak attack if you hit. Are you sure you want to use sharpshooter? Wait a second. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you go take care of that. I just realized something. Okay. His yeah. gaze was off of me. I have, um... Oh, it's supposed to be an advantage. Uh, what were you going to say, Adrian? Uh, his gaze was off of me, so my plate armor comes back to me. Correct. So what your armor class would be... A 21. 21, so the 18 would never have hit me. Correct. You can take back your 9 hit points. Thea, the 21 okay. to hit, because you have advantage, does hit. Give me sharpshooter and sneak attack. Thank you, Adrian. Oh, you really so gotta think on this guy. Yes, you do. 10 from Sharpshooter, 36 from Sneak Attack, and 11 Acid Damage becomes 57 hit points of damage. Watch that health bar. Whew. He's gone. I can't do it. It explodes okay. in a shower <laughs> of slime. Oh, darn. I kind of wonder if it had anything useful. <laughs> Anything Sorry. else for you, Thea? Oh, he's gotta look for a chance to loot or steal something. <laughs> right? <laughs> and I want like, to be unnoticeable again. Thea's like, I'm gone, I'm not here. I'm right. dealt with. You can deal with the others for now. 33 stealth. Nice, Thea. Adrian, you have, I think you have uh, nothing in hand. I have nothing in hand. But I do summon my. I do summon my sanguine nonetheless to my hand, which is once again a force blade. Yeah, and I attack. That makes sense. Ah, uh, that'll hit. A thirty to hit for twelve force damage. Ouch. All right, and then I attack again. Makes sense. Uh, that does hit for another seven. And I just remembered that. And since... There we go. Go ahead. One more time. Oh, nice. And because I think that big flying eyeball is gone, that means uh, no more anti magic. Anything else for you, sir? I am going to run back over here because that's where I drop my shield. <laughs> and that will end my turn. I'm triggering no attack of opportunity because it's still slowed. Right, this creature is still banished. It's Varen's turn. Varen could not hide before.
do, 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 do. Charge to here Charge. using Landstride. And I'm gonna shoot at it. At this point, Varen is gonna go ahead and end concentration on slow. And dispensing with his last use of Charm of Depth. And instead, I'm gonna bonus action cast Hunter's Mark. I don't want to cast Spike Growth because um, you're right there with it. Yeah. Thank you're you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. Um, so he's he the last one left, at least for the moment, unless Dill loses concentration. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. I'm not here. <laughs> when knows where I am. Keep concentration. And Noticeability. And fire. Ice. Not ice. Regular. 23 Win. minus 5 is 18 to hit, which hits. Colossus Slayer gives me 3, Sharpshooter 10, and Hunter's Mark 2 for 15, plus 7 is 22 points of damage. Watch that health bar. Wham. Ooh. Damn. Okay. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I'm not going to use Sharpshooter or Colossus Slayer, but I will keep Hunter's Mark, and I will shoot it again. I want this arrow to hit. 31. I should have kept sharpshooter. <laughs> that is going to hit for a total of 11 damage. And death. It hits the ground hard. Okay. Ow. Hey, I'm not as badly hurt as I normally am. Varen's going to spend the next minute regathering arrows. I went from 20 to 7. So I, I can recover as many as 6 arrows. So I now have 13 arrows. In my regular quiver. Uh, Thea, did you want to recover any uh, any of your regular arrows? Arrows? Yes, definitely. All right. And my dart. And, and your dart. my dart back. That is fair. Del, uh, it doesn't take much longer, like six more seconds, and you feel banishment really settle in. And uh, the thing disappears. The presence of that I bone am, thing. I noticeability. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just really enjoying that one. <laughs> I don't blame you. Crutches, unfortunately, has expired, stung and ripped apart, and limbs torn apart, torn off its body. Yeah, no, I'm mourning his loss. Uh, he was a good spider. I and think he might. Well. Hold on, let me. I was gonna kind of go through his notes for a little bit and kind of do some thinking. I actually pull a vial from my uh, pouch that was an ink vial. And now I'm filling it up with some of his blood and mixing it in with the ink. So then that way I can keep him with me in my journal. <laughs> that is so creepy. <laughs> and yet that somehow... is creepy. Go, Go ahead. ahead, say it. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if that's sweet or not. No, I, I think that's just flat out creepy. <laughs> I heard see this, he's just kind of like, I only collect trophies from the things I kill. As he picks up some skin from these aberrations. <laughs> Del, what were we going to look at? Oh, oh, hold on. Del still is trying to think of his options. Um, while Del's looking at that, Baron, will, having stepped inside the shrine, will look back out. So, we destroyed all the monsters around here, but I don't think we cleansed the shrine. No, we have not. But we still... I'm still wondering what was uh, that eyeball guy doing in this little room. 
and I kind of hesitate on actually going in and checking it out. The room leads to a small chamber that once might have housed plants. It's, I mean, there's big, these, there are long rectangular stone containers. You're not sure what else you would call them. That used to hold dirt. Whatever they do now is beyond your guess. There is a hole leading into the earth right here. So you might not actually want to step there. Oh, um, really? Yeah. Well, it leads fair. deep into the fair. ground. It's conceivable that the flying eyeball came up through that hole. Mm. You think there's treasure down there? I'm going to go with probably not. I'm going to say there's a whole lot of dirt in that hole. And rock. And who knows what else. Ooh. He has a thought. Thea may have a thought. He wants to go look at, like, the claws and if they have, like, stingers of these dead creatures over here. And okay. try to consider if they could be made into useful weapons or not. Um. Let me see here. So are you just examining them? Yeah, I just want to see if, you know, if I chop stuff off and can they make something particularly useful of that, or would it just be just another use of point they look, or something? They just kind of look like ba your basic claws. Oh. Do you handle it? Do you handle them at all? Yeah. Okay. Cautiously give me... Worrying about poison. Give me a dexterity saving throw. One. Ah, there we go. Dexterity saving throw at normal. Oops. Thea, please give me a constitution saving throw. That was weird. You pricked your hand on the, one of the claws. Your hand is itchy a little. Yeah, I was trying to be cautious of poison, and I think I might have found it. <laughs> and are you Can't poisoned? Really harvest it? Uh, you can give me a medicine check if you can if I... you like, or maybe ask Dell to check you, who's currently going over his notes, I believe. Hey, hey Dell, why's my hand itching? Um, I'll let's see. Hold on. Can I have them both give a medicine check? Sure. There. Is that Thea's or Dell's? That's Thea, and that is Dell's. Wow. Dell, I mean, it just kind of looks. Honestly, it kind of looks like Thea might have just got bit by a mosquito. Yeah, it's probably nothing. Thea feels more like you like you've caught a disease of some kind. Can I harvest this? Can I harvest can the I disease? Collect whatever? How would you harvest well, the I, disease? Well, because I'm thinking, because I pricked my finger off of like kind of like handling these guys' claws or something, and I'm trying to think if there's like any kind of goopy sap or poison evident on those that I might be able to harvest into you a vial. You didn't see anything of the kind. You just kind of felt like a prick, and. Now your hand is itchy. Meh, give it some time. You'll probably just get better. Yeah, it's just a I disease. think I'm going to ask Del to help with that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Del, do you wish to uh, cleanse the shrine? Yes, but I will also be pointing out to Adrian that um, we all want to take cutters with us because I'm pretty sure I can revive him and bring him back later. It'll take a little time. I need to kind of prepare a spell for it, but I'm pretty sure I can bring him back. How Please don't bring him back like an undead. 
How are we going to no, carry... No, 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 no. Bring him back. How are we going to carry a body of that size? Well, you guys are or... the strong ones. I mean, We're that's like... your part to figure out. I'm figuring out how to make him alive again. We're agile. We're not really all that strong. <laughs> Oh, you know what? It's all right. We can leave him to rest. Or we could also spend an entire day here. If that's what you want. Hmm. It's just... It's up to you, really... Adrian, but I'm, I'm pretty confident I could bring him back. Like He, he doesn't need to stay dead. It's just going to take me a little time. Um. So, there's that question to be answered. There's cleansing the shrine. And we're going to have some more travel days, it seems. Uh, considering the time, I'm going to say we're going to call it there for the night. Unless you especially want to cleanse the shrine right, right away. I want to cleanse the shrine right away and then set up camp. Noted. All right. Dell. Here we go. Examining the um, symbology here... From within, now that the fighting is over, the stained glass windows, from, uh, when viewed from outside, they seem to just be colors of patterns of lights and shapes. Viewed from the outside, they actually form fractal images of heroic battles, tragic sacrifices, and really valorous victories. And studying the iconography and examining the various... Um, and carvings in this place, you eventually determine that we are going to need either two bulls or two goats. That must be without flaw. Um, and they must be killed here before the altar and their blood sprinkled on the altar itself to cleanse and to purify the altar. After the pig blood is washed away. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure you guys can do some scrubbing and cleaning of the altar. And... <laughs> so, we also got to try and figure out how to get either two goats or two bull cows... Bulls? Bulls? Yeah, bulls. Sorry. Bulls. Um, <laughs> I, just I, I was trying to think of how to distinguish like animal bulls versus like you know eating bulls. Yes, anim the animal, the male bulls. <laughs> B U L L. Bull. That. Yeah, I, I was trying to think of how to distinguish that verbally, and Dell's a little iffy with words. But anyway, yeah, yeah. bull and the stuff that comes out of his rear. Uh, I missed what you said there, Dell. And what would you say, Adrian? I said, kind of like bull and the thing that comes out of his rear. <laughs> that type wow. of bull. Uh, using favored foe. Favored foe? Favored enemy. Favored enemy. Uh, Varen will pipe up. Goats out here in the desert are going to be a lot easier to find. And I can find them fairly easily. You say you only need two, right? Yeah, I think so. Never hurts to have a spare, but yeah, we need to. And that's no bull. Varen casts Locate Creature. Which is a concentration spell for one hour. And I'm going to choose a goat. And I detect if it's within a thousand feet of me. Uh, Adrian, roll me 1d20. Ten or higher, it's within a thousand feet. Okay. Parents is like, I know where some goats are. I'll be right back. <laughs> and he just starts heading out. Uh, okay. And he is going to stealth to go. Oops, that should have been normal. Sorry. Okay. Well, we go with the first result, which was a nat 20. Varen is using his um, natural explorer feature to travel at normal speed at stealth. And, uh, yeah, he's definitely going to be back inside of an hour. And he's definitely going to be uh, carrying, bringing a goat back. 
Adrian and Thea and Dell, you can clean the altar. I assume. All right. Okay. Yep. And I'm just pretty sure in the meantime, Dell could have cast also a lesser restoration on Thea. Uh, to see if that kind of takes care of her itching fingers. Um, so Dell, you cast that. Hang on. I am looking for the goat uh, character block. Dell, you cast that, and a wriggling blood red tadpole comes crawling out of the tiny hole in Thea's hand. And then it writhes, screams, and disintegrates into dust. I was about to see if I could dra drown it in Thea's vomit, but I guess that works too to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Varen is. I'm going. To, I'm just. I'm not going to have any character sheets up for this. I'm just going to. Um, Varen got a nat twenty on his stealth check, so he's just going to sneak up on the goats that are somewhere and uh, try and be merciful to them. Wait, no, he's not going to be merciful. He's just going to catch them and bring them back. Silly me. Um, yes, you guys spend some time cleaning the goat and uh, the pig blood, not goat blood. And Varen returns. Call it within. Um. 30 minutes? Yeah, just a few hours. Not even, uh, no, because no, because the goats are within yeah. a thousand feet. It's not going to take him even an hour yeah, to go that far. Heck, he doesn't even have to, all he has to do is backtrack his own trail. Um, And he doesn't get lost, yeah. so he doesn't even have to do that. So Varen returns soon within within the hour with two goats in trail. Um, They are without flaw, so to speak. Del, you would have to be the one to kill the goats. Sorry, buddies. For a good cause. Brutal. So you kill them? And gather their blood? With, you know, mercy and I presume um, um, prayer to Seba, yes. Yes, with a prayer to Seba and a quick gasha through the throat. The goats are killed. Their blood you collect. You sprinkle some. You so you collect the blood as it drains. You put the bodies of the goats on the altar and set them aflame. You mark each of the elves' brow with the blood and sprinkle the blood on the altar. As the bodies are burned, the blood marking on each of the elves' brows disappear, and each elf is granted a benediction. Thea, the Uriel curse, is lifted. You no <laughs> longer have a minus two to your uh, to your saves, which I don't really know. Can you, do you mind? I gotta, I'm gonna try and figure out where oh. it is to um, fix that I'm for you. No worries. Ah, there it is. And there you go. That is now fixed. Dell, a yeah, crystal. Yeah. Oh, wait, well, hold on. My constitution's still at negative one. Um, checking. Constitution. I'm not sure why. I'll check it later. Okay. But they should. But all your saves should be correct. I don't know why it isn't. I'll check it later. Del, a power crystal appears in your hand. You can bond this crystal to your shield, and then you can use your, sh or, well, any mundane object that you're carrying, and then that object will operate in the same manner as a ring of spell storing for you. Oh, useful. Adrian, appearing in the air before you is a vibrant purple prism. It is known as the Stone of Reserve. It can store up to three levels worth of spells cast into them, it once activated. Yeah. So it can store three first level spells, or a second level and a first level, or a single third level. Okay, and I will this share that to you. Something that's given to me. 
Yep, it, it, is, it is granted to you as a benediction for cleansing the shrine. Oh, great. And I am making it available to you now. So I can copy and paste. There you go. I just sent it to you. It should be popping up on your screen. That's right. Uh, da, 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 da. Varen's bow is infused with defensive magic. While holding it, and only while holding it, Varen can use an action to activate its protective field and gain a plus three to his armor class. This bonus lasts until he lets go of the bow, or ten minutes have passed. And we have cleansed the shrine, and as, we, as the ceremony finishes... The floor beneath our feet suddenly drops open. Mm. And we are all plunged into a bubbling, viscous, hot, steamy water that soothes our aches and uh, restores all our hit points. If mm. you have any injuries. And does it heal heart attacks for those who thought they were going to fall a thousand feet? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, well, I, never, you're dead. <laughs> I never got that thing from you, Varen. <laughs> okay, I will send it to you shortly. Oh. Treating, and then I just gotta get there. And that button should it should be popping up on your screen now. Oh, there it is. You're welcome. Thank All you. right, and we can set up camp. Yes. Yes. And we can take the rest of the day to craft. Uh, dot, dot, where to go? So Dell can assemble another heart sand poultice and another four hack and leaf brews. Varen will brew a single hack and leaf brew. Uh, Thea can assemble a heart sand poultice and brew four more, um, or you'd spend four more hours to prepare the second dose of essence of ether. And Adrian, if you still have a spell slot, you can finish writing your next spell scroll of shield and brew another four hack and leak brews. Great. So four and one is five and four is nine leather or bottles. Uh, so Dell, you can decide who to who, if any, to pass those items out to. Uh, and then. Leather is down by one, because Adrian is writing another spell scroll. All right, and uh, um, Dell, I assume... Sorry? How many hours out of how many did you say I have towards the next uh, Essence of Ether? Another four more hours. Four of... I think it's eight. Four out of eight. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So it should be at six out of eight and total. Six out of eight total. And you said I also had a heart sand, and what else? That was it for Thea. Um, Varen is going to brew a hack and leaf. So give me one second. Um, there we go. Uh, and Dell put together another heart sand poultice and another four hack and leaf brews. And don't forget to get rid of your charm of haste, Thea. Yes. All right. We have cleansed the shrine, renewed Thea. We'll be spending the night here. We'll cover the details of that when you come back to play next time. I hope Great. you all had a blast, despite the sound issues early on. Yeah, sorry for that. It's not your fault. I was having issues, too. And we survived a rather chaotic battle. Um, let me see here. All right. I'm going to stop recording on my end. Thank you, fellow adventurers, for joining us once more. Please comment below to vote on what monsters you want to see Adrian, Thea, and Varen take on next. You can vote for more than one kind at a time. 
Boulette, Fire Elemental. Thank you for watching, and I hope we'll see you again next week.